Hello, it's Sarah, and welcome to the, no, the Women's History Month video hop. And for my inspiration, I have chosen Beatrix Potter. Um, she, we all know her as a book, an author, and illustrator of children's books. And there's a lot of other good stuff about her, but first let me get to the project. I want to try and do this in real time. I've just created this little card, being that it's close to Easter, I've got some bunnies on here. This is actually uh, one of Beatrix drawings. This was from Pinterest, I believe, and I printed it out for my printer. Actually, it says educational coloring pages. So um, I printed that out to the size of the card. And then you're going to need some tracing paper, so just your regular old tracing paper. Then I traced the image onto tracing paper and lined it up on my card. And I'm just using watercolor paper because I'm going to do a floating technique. We're going to paint these little rabbits with sheer coats of paint. I'm just using acrylic paint. And um, so I've Got my tracing on my card where I want it, and then I'm going to use graphite paper. This is gray graphite, and I'm just going to stick it underneath between the card and the um, tracing, and using uh, anything. You can use a ballpoint pen even, but I'm just, I just use my stylus, and I've traced the entire design onto the card. Okay, then once that's done, I erased it down to just the bare minimum lines because that was a pretty dark graphite. And then I went over everything with my number three, actually it's a 03 micron pen. And this is kind of called a pen and ink technique. So you outline everything with a black pen and then we're gonna come back and add some color using a floating technique. And you could probably just watercolor these in really easily. But what I'm going to do is just side load my brush and add the color um, in the dark areas. So only mainly where there's there would be shading. So I have an angle brush. This is about this is a smallish. I just rolled it in the paint, of course. Um, this is a three eighths inch angle brush. Uh, Simmons, simply Simmons. So I put water on my brush. I'm going to show you what I do here. This is called palette paper, and it's a, like a kind of a waxy surface. I go into the water and I blot on my paper towel, and that kind of sucks out the extra water. Then I corner load my brush. I just put a little bit of paint on the corner of my brush, and I walk it onto this kind of waxy palette here, and push the paint from dark to medium to water. I don't want any paint getting on this end of the brush, only on the one. So I'm going to do that again. I corner load and then I work the paint down through the bristles and that is called floating. I'm floating the color through the bristles. So I'm going to take this and put it on the bunny. I'm not going to pre-wet the surface or anything on her dress in where it would be the darkest. All the bristles are on the surface so that there's water there too and you kind of walk it down and you get it a graduation of color. Let me go in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do mom's dress and Peter's jacket in this blue color. And um, Beatrix was homeschooled basically. And so she wasn't around a lot of other kids and had to use her creativity and um, think of her own things to do and she really was inspired by animals a lot and um, the land as well and used to sketch quite a bit and she did watercolors and a lot of those characters or animals from the farm that she lived on became characters in her books frogs and mice and bunnies so um, it's funny, she uh, said that she's glad she was never sent to school, to a formal school, because it might have 
um, squished her creativity. She might not have thought the way she did. And so um, it's very interesting. Nowadays, you know, she was from the Victorian era as well. So let's see, did I get all the blue areas? Then the girls have on like a pink jacket today, pink capes. Um, side loading the brush, I push the paint into the bristles and I'm just going to stick it up in the areas where it would be darkest and leave some white areas as highlights. And because this is watercolor paper, the paint is kind of sucking into it. And I'm sure you could use other types of mediums as well, but this is just, I haven't done this in a long time and I just felt like it. it's a quick an easy way to put color onto a piece. This is jacket too. And we're pretty much, how, how much time do I have? Oh good. Um, what else did I want to tell you about Beatrix? Oh, she was actually um, studied a branch of biology known as um, mycology, which is the study of fungi. So that's like, um, uh, what are they? Mushrooms, right? Um, she actually uh, bred a certain kind of sheep too. She was quite into farming and she lived to be 77 years old, which I was pretty impressed because, you know, back then people died young because there were diseases and things. Actually, well, maybe not. She died in 1945, so maybe not, you know, maybe she was, um, it wasn't that long ago. Uh, she married in her 40s, so she, what, she was very independent, and um, her family was pretty well off. They had textile mills and were in the textile industry, so um, she uh, had a pretty good life, and um, yeah, I just felt inspired by her. My mom is English, and I don't know, I just happened upon her. I know there's a vid I mean a movie about her, and I think I want to see that now. It's uh, starring um, Renee Zellweger, I think. So I want to see how much time I have. Three minutes, we're doing good. But basically, um, this is it. This is all there is to it. You just, like I said, add the color to where you want it the darkest and let the, um, the light color kind of be the highlight. I'll do a more in-depth video on floating for those of you who are interested um, that I can take my time and, and really show you properly because this is, I feel a bit rushed because I really didn't want to edit or anything and um, I just wanted it to be in real time. So let's see, we're getting down. Uh, this is the first hop that I've ever participated in, so I just want to put this side by side in case I don't get to it. So in the description box, what you want to do is just click on the next link in the list, and you're going to go to all types of different videos um, showing with, with women of histor our history um, sorry. Uh, so you'll learn a little bit about someone from our history and also hopefully a new art technique. Um, and it's really cool. So thank you for joining me today. And I hope you, you learned a little something. I just love this quick and easy way. I'm only using three paint colors and you get such a great result. I'm just going to take it a little bit down here and then the back of her head too and her little hands. And but that's about it, all right, you guys? I just wanted to, there's one quote. She had a couple quotes, but this one says, believe there is a great power silently working all things for good.
behave yourself and never mind the rest. Isn't that cool? So happy Easter and thanks for watching.